Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 18 of the Fulham career mode series here on FIFA 18. We currently sit 13th, we're not in good form. We were 2-1 up against Wolves and got sucker punched twice to lose the game by 3 goals to 2 in the last 7 or 8 minutes. We did sucker punch Manchester United twice ourselves to get a point against the Red Devils, but unfortunately for us, it, uh, it's not been a good run of form at all. We are currently seven points clear of the relegation zone with 15 points available. However, today we face sixth placed Everton, seventh placed Manchester City and league leaders and runaway league leaders, Chelsea. So... I think if you offered me a point from these three games, I'd probably take it because there is a real chance we could lose all three. Bournemouth and Cardiff are our final two games of the season for tomorrow's video. <sighs> but what happens today is going to be crucial with regards to our end of season. We could be safe by the end. We could be very much in danger by the end of today's episode. Time will tell. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. There will of course be a road to, oh, road to Ronaldo. A replacing Ronaldo uh, series video later on this evening. I'm so nervous about today's episode because our future is in our hands. But we have three of the most difficult games we'll face all season coming up next. Right, Everton's starting lineup. No surprises that Jordan Pickford is in goal. It's a back four. Sergio Roberto, Ashley Williams, Eliki Mangala, and Luke Shaw. Schneidlin and Idris Gay holding. Theo Walcott, Tarasai, and Kevin Morales wide left. With Cenk Tosun up top, who is one of the league's top goal scorers. So he's going to be a real handful, you would have thought. Big physical presence. Let's see if we can deal with it. Oh, nicely intercepted by Cissé. That's why we've thrown him into this starting lineup ahead of Oliver Norwood. He's just a little bit more solid defensively. It wasn't quite the attacking through ball there I was hoping for. Kearney scored a great whipped one against the other side of Merseyside. Unfortunately, not able to do it on this occasion. Shot on target, although I think it took quite a deflection to take it down low towards the goal rather than up high towards the far top corner as he did. At Anfield, Theo Walcott turning and sprinting away from me. He's going to be difficult to deal with. Tink Tosu, we mentioned his physicality. And he's very, very good in front of goal as well. And he might be scoring here. Indeed, he is scoring here on his left foot. Into the back of the net. Everton won Fulham nil in the 19th minute. His 13th goal of the Premier League season. I'll be honest, I felt comfortable when he was on his left. I shouldn't have done in driving forward. Cissé does well to get the tackle in. Very much enjoying using Cissé in that holding role now. Kenny short to Seri. Ryan Sessegnon making moves on the left, but he's tightly marked by the right back, Sergi Roberto. He was my saviour against Manchester United. And he did score as well against Wolves. Seri not scoring here against Everton, though. Pickford pouncing on the ball as it flew through the air towards the far top corner. Good goalkeeping. Great number nine work from Cenk Tosun as well, even though he's wearing number 14. Oh, he could have been underneath that as well, had the ball in been slightly better. Ibrahim Cissé will get this forward to Rui Fonte. Sessegnon is there. Nice run being made by Tom Kearney. And there's space here for Cabano. This surely has to be 1-1. Yes, Cabano. Thank you. We're level. Tosun out to Morales. He's in behind. Cyrus Christie trying to close him down. Morales has left him standing, and a second defender too, and Tosun's shot thankfully is blocked by Seri, who had to track back to get rid of the ball. Kevin Morales will take the corner, Kerry is on near post duty, Varnier heads that away, and they get to that first, I can't, he's going to drop here to Schneidlin, into Sergio Roberto, nicely done by Le Marchand. Keeper ran up next to it and decided he didn't want to pick it up, he was quite happy for Everton to have the corner. I'm not, Tarashai off for them. And Davy Clarsen on. Barnier with the throw. Brian into Seri. Through the gap there to Rui Fonte. Drops his shoulder well. There's a bit of space here for Cabano. And he's cut back inside. Oh, always oh, going to drop to Rui Fonte. And I can't score. Kearney with a follow-up effort. Sessignon keeps that in. But we can't get the ball in the back of the net. 
That was ridiculous. A Sikabano at the back post. Can I get him on the end of this? No, Adrissa wins the header. Real pressure from Fulham now. Oh, but the pass looking for Kenny is poor. Oh, here comes David Clarsen on the counter for Everton. I've nailed him from behind. That was pretty terrible. But at least we've slowed their attack down. I can't believe I haven't been able to score in that previous attack on my own. Though David Clarsen loses possession here. And if we see so, we'll get it forward. Adrissa does brilliantly. Still, we've got the ball though. Cessnion round the corner there looking for Rufonte. And the defender's just fallen over him. Rufonte is in behind here. I'll try and turn inside the defender. Rufonte 2 1 Fulham. Is that the goal that keeps us in the Premier League? Brian. Forward to Rufonte. Round the corner there to Cessnion. Here's Joe Bryan again. Ibrahim Isise somehow found himself playing in the striker role. Oh, it's a lovely ball through. Can Ryan Sessegnon get to that? No. Well recovered by Sergi Roberto. Got some changes being made now. Rufonte going off and Catrona coming on. In fact, I think I made all three of my substitutes there. Get that across to Tom Kearney. Around the corner to Floyd Aite, who's just come on. Kearney through. Catrone could score his first goal here for the club and has done. Slightly fortunate the way that it popped back up to him after the defender got in the way the first time around. But we lead by three goals to one. Surely now that's us safe in the Premier League if we can just hold on for victory here. Hope that other results go our way. That might well be us guaranteeing... Oh, so lucky. Guaranteeing our Premier League status for next season. Shaw with a throw. In there to walk up to Kevin Morales. Inside to Cenk Tosun. Back heel to Theo. Oh, thankfully, the Martin gets in, but they've won it back again. And Klaassen, oh, I thought it was in. I genuinely thought that was going to nest in the top corner. Had it gone in, we might genuinely have had one hell of a climax here at Craven Cottage. Thankfully, it didn't. Everton making a couple of changes, but it was one of mine that made the difference. Cissé, forward to Norwood. There's three minutes added on, but we could add a fourth goal. Catrone's played in behind. I want to try and get it back on his right if I can. Catrone... Good save by Pickford. Kenny with a header. It's wide. And there goes the final whistle. I really should have finished that off with Catrone, shouldn't I? But never mind. 3-1 win. Probably the biggest three points of the season so far. But even by the end of the season, they could very well be the biggest three points of the season. With the scenario, we'll wait and see what everyone else's results look like. We are on 40 points. And with 12 points remaining... We are nine points clear of Burnley in 18th. I think that win has guaranteed our Premier League status for next season. Very, very important. Up next, Manchester City and Chelsea. Right, City starting lineup. Edison in goal. Four at the back. Walker, Otamendi, Laporte, and Mendy. Doesn't look like City are starting a weak side, does it? Diallo, Fernandinho, and Bratton. Okay, maybe I take that back. Sterling, Jesus and Sané. Well, strong defence and goalkeeper. Strong front three. Midfield, questionable. But they have one hell of a lineup on the bench. De Bruyne, Aguero, Asensio. It's turned by Sané. In there to Rue Fonte. Around the corner to Kearney. Bit of space here for Cabano. Pull it into the middle. It's going to drop kindly for someone. That someone is Cissé. It's going to drop to Cabano. And he fires it straight to Edison. Starting off on the front foot. But I've done that before and still got smacked. We'll have to be at 100% concentration levels for the full 90 minutes if we're to do anything against City. Diallo arrived out of nowhere there as I was thinking about playing through Tom Kenny. Thankfully, Le Marchand does well to rise for that, but Seri's given it straight back to them. Diallo into Bratton. Holds the ball up well. Two men with him. Somehow gets away from both of them. Here's Raheem Sterling. Brian tackles well. Uh, big switch. Go on then. Ryan Session on to ping it. Help it round the corner. Early doors to Rui Fonte, who's got... Merrick Laporte with him, but he's getting away from him. Really Fonte doing well here. We'll get it down the line there if we can to Cyrus Christie. And Cabano's still in the middle. People are arriving left, right and centre. Oh, couldn't get it to Cissé. And now I need my right back to be at right back. He's all the way down the field having put the cross in. Sané to punish me on the counter, perhaps. Bit quick, isn't he? Leroy Sané. How's his crossing? Not bad. Headed away by Seri up against Sterling. We'll drop for Diallo. Heavy touch to get it past me. Sterling across to Sané. Back to Sterling. Deflected corner. City putting the pressure on. Sterling. He's changed the direction. He's so fast. And that time he didn't even change direction. He literally just did a few step overs. Brian in the way of that one. Another 
corner for Manchester City. Going to put this one into the middle. Sterling will whip it rather than being involved from a short one. There's Gabriel Jesus who brings it down. Twists one way then the other. Don't foul him. Don't give away a penalty. Diallo. Sterling. Diallo. Nicely done by Ryan Sessegnon. Counter-attack. Oh, counter-attack. Cabano. Will it reach him in time? He's gotten away from Fernandinho. Just. Has he? Maybe. I'll turn back and look for support. I'll drill it in looking for Ruth Fonte. He helps it on his way off the post across the line and into the arms of Ederson. Couldn't have come much closer. Sterling. I'll tackle Cissé. Bratton. Back to Sané. Back to Bratton again. Here's Benjamin Mendy. Down the line to Sané. Cross could come in here. Hasn't yet. Jesus. Oh, the man arriving late. Another blocked shot. We had a number of them so far in this game. City have been knocking on the door. I just keep putting my foot in the way so that they can't get through the door. Diallo into the port. Straight at Rossi. Another opportunity for City to take the lead that they haven't been able to take. I've very nearly gifted them possession back there. They're still tussling with each other on the floor over there. Seri. Oh, I hadn't noticed that Cessna had an extra man with him. Seri will turn his side nicely. I'll drive into this space because why wouldn't you? Oh, that would have been a lovely one too. It could still drop to Fonte. It has done. 1 0 City. 1 0 Fulham against City in the stoppage time of the first half. I got so lucky with the way that dropped to me. Driving into space with Seri, I went for the 1 2, I'll be honest. Blocked. And then the defender just didn't react in time. Edison was on his way out, but couldn't get there quickly enough. And Rui Fonte scores his 12th goal of the Premier League season in the 45th minute. We lead at the Etihad. Jesus, up to Sané. I'm expecting to be pinned in for the majority of this second half as City look for an equaliser. Hopefully I can deny them that at the very beginning of the second half. Which we've just been able to do, at least for the time being. Corner comes in, it's whipped. Kenny just gets rid. Keep a flu at it. Oh, jeeps. This is going to be a really nervy second half. The longer it goes on with us being ahead, the more nervous and shaky I'm going to be defensively. How has that gone in? Well, there goes the nerves. I don't have to worry about them equalising if they've already done it five minutes into the second half. That must have taken a deflection. Surely the keeper... I would have been certain he was going to save that. Oh, big deflection. Big deflection off Cissé. The underside of his thigh, keeper had already committed to the dive. That's unlucky. Very, very unlucky. In this header, please, Christie. Sané does. Drops to Bratton. Been very good in the midfield for them, Bratton. Sané played in again. Driving around the outside. Varnier with him. Varnier tackles. It will be a corner to City, though. 25 minutes to go. Changes being made sooner rather than later, I think, by City. In fact, they've made it now. Bratton off and Kevin De Bruyne on. Quite the luxury to be able to bring a player of the quality. Kevin De Bruyne off the bench. Seri so brilliantly there to skip past the challenge. Here's Rui Fonte. Ping it out wide looking for the runner. Cabano. And he's going to get there ahead of Benjamin Mendy. We've got Cissé in the middle. Cabano trying to hold off Benjamin Mendy, which he can't do. But we'll take the throw. Or do I make a change of my own? I might do. Seri is flagging. So we'll take... Eventually, there we go. We'll take Seri off for Norwood. And I'm actually going to bring Aite on for Cabano as well. Might bring Catrone on sooner rather than later. But for now... There are the two changes we make. Who's that coming on? Number 29. I'm not entirely too sure, actually. My two changes being made. Chrissy will throw that to Aite. Work it inside there, looking for Cissé. We'll drop to Kearney. He can get to that loose ball. Yes, he can. Aite, back to Cissé. Through the gap. Kearney, bend it. I held my breath. I held my breath. I thought it was going to bend in the, bar, in the far corner. And into the back of the net. And it wouldn't quite bend enough. Big throw into Cissé. Big touch from Cissé as well. It was necessarily definitely not needed in that situation. Here's Sessegnon though. Pull it back. Catrone. Ahite. Norwood. We're loitering with intent here on the edge of the City box, but can't find a way through. Cissé. Kearney. Bend it on your left. That's a good deflection. It will be a corner. The chance. To perhaps win the game away from home against City. Catrone over the bar with a header. Not far away at all. Oh, so much space for Sterling. I don't know where Joe Bryan's gone. Raheem in the box. A couple of step overs. 
on the counter. We just had our own corner where Catrone had headed over the bar. We weren't back in position properly and I just couldn't get near Sterling. Good finish. They were fortunate with their first with a deflection. The second though, very, very well put away by Raheem Sterling. So frustrating. I feel like we deserve at least a point from this, but it doesn't look like we're going to get it. 89th minute, they could send Fernandinho away here. They haven't. Here's Sergio Aguero off the bench. Great, brilliant. Just to make things that little bit worse for me. Aguero could even compound my misery even further. Fernandinho rifles that up a long way wide, despite having enough space there to pick his spot a little bit better than that. Three minutes added on at the end of the game. Catrone flicks that on, but it won't reach Aite. Man stayed down in the middle for City. It's Kevin De Bruyne, I think, number 17 there. Here's Fernandinho, the runner around the outside. It's Kyle Walker. Oh, I thought he was going to get it into the middle the first time. He didn't. Fernandinho makes it three and City. Compound my misery. It's defeat here. We were only a few moments away or a few minutes away from a point. And as it happens, we're going to lose by two goals. That most certainly will be the end of that, I believe. And there's the final whistle. Right then. Chelsea next. I think if we get a point there, I know it's a big stretch, but we've done well enough against City there to perhaps earn a point. If we can actually hold on against Chelsea and get a point there, then we should be safe. Should be. Let's find out. All right, Chelsea's lineup: Courtois, Snake, in goal. Florenzi, Christensen, David Luiz, Azpilicueta and Alonso. That's a very strong back five. Bakayoko, Jorginho and Kante. That's a very strong midfield three. Morata and Eden Hazard up top. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good start in 11, that, isn't it? <laughs> Help me. Ryan into Cissé, or to Seri. Through there to Fonte. Seri's gone again. Oh, that's a chop. David Luiz in trouble, maybe? The referee brandishing a yellow card only. Tom Kearney is yet to score a free kick for me this season, but now might be the time to pull one out the bag. Did that take a deflection? It didn't. He's missed the bag. Lorenzi with a touch over the top looking for Morata. Lamarchan could win that and has done and done so well. Now, if they're going to push their wing backs forward, as you would expect Chelsea to do with a five at the back, I might be able to send Cessillon and Cabano in behind. Even if the wing-backs do push forward, there's still the case of three defenders back there. But three on three is definitely better than uh, three on five. Nice tackle by Seri, but Conte keeps possession. Driving forward. He had a little bit more attacking freedom for Chelsea at the weekend in real life, with Jorginho quite happy to sit and hold and let N'Golo push forward. We'll see if that's replicated in FIFA here. Rui Fonte drops his shoulder nicely on Andreas Christensen there. Across to Cessignon, back inside to Fonte. This is good football. I'll give it to Fonte again. At least I tried to. Seri with the effort. Courtois there. Hazard. Lovely ball out wide to Marcus Alonso. Cross could come. Maybe still. I don't see the foul there, to be completely honest, ref. But they'll take the free kick here. Hazard will deliver it into the middle. And there's a number of tall people that could be on the end of this. But it's... Little Cabano that is the man that gets on the end of it. Oh, but David Luiz could shoot here. Plays Hazard, good block by Varnier. Corner for Chelsea. Nearly half an hour in. Again, a number of tall physical players in there. And they beat the first man this time. Well, actually, the first man is their own player, but Morata finds only Rossi. Right, down the line to Sessegnon. Okay. Really too sure what Andreas Christensen was trying there. Great cross. Aspie heads away. Cissé brings it down. We'll give it a go. Deflected Courtois with a great reaction save. That was unreal from the Belgian there. Incredible reactions. The ball was drilled hard and low. And then it takes a big deflection. It's about to loop over the goalkeeper. And he's somehow able to get up to it. Cissé, who had that effort, now back involved defensively. And we will just manage to keep that away from Eden Hazard. Can't get it forward to Rui Fonte, though. Jorginho twisting and turning one way then the other. Very cheeky penalty from him in real life. At the weekend, and Hazard gets himself a goal from Jorginho's creativity yet again. Chelsea lead in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Morata. Marcus Alonso lofted in towards Bakayoko. Nodded down well to Eden Hazard. That's probably a foul and given as such. Cissé just leaning in trying to get there. A bit far out to shoot, I think. Although they may try something. No, Hazard is going to shoot. And it's wide of the target. Worth a goal, I suppose. 
They've got nothing to lose. They're one nil up. They've got one hell of a lead at the top of the Premier League table. In fact, by the end of this game, even if they aren't able to win, even if they lose, they may yet still have the uh, league title confirmed by the end of the day. I didn't look at that end of the table. I was far too concerned about the other end, to be completely honest, as we were heading into this game. A point would be enough to keep us safe, I believe. But as we're losing right now at the end of this game, if things stay as they are, we will still be threatened with relegation from the Premier League. Space here for Victor Moses just off the bench. That touch was great into Hazard. Thankfully, Varnier deals with it. Thomas Callas is on his way back from injury and is probably fit enough to start, but Varnier has been impressive in his time in the starting lineup since Callas' injury. Sessignon cut that back there to Ibrahim Assise. See the option to play through Tom Kearney. Draws a good save out of Courtois, knocks him off his feet. Florenzi can't keep it in. I think I mistakenly said in a previous episode that um, Callas had been out for seven months. In actual fact, he hasn't. It's uh, It was a three-month injury, wasn't it? Or two-month injury from like a broken elbow. Ryan Sessignon <sighs> finds Thibaut Courtois. 13 minutes to go. We are still trailing by a goal to nil. That gives that strength to Seri. Sessignon will drive forward. Rui Fontes there short. Could go for a 1-2 maybe, but no, Rudiger stuck with him well. Oh, Kenny with a good turn. Tom Kenny on his right foot wide. The chances are coming now, but the goals aren't. As up. And the line to Victor Moses. Turns his, oh, turns his side brilliantly. And then darts back down the line again. Johansson off the bench. Trying to use his fresh legs to deal with the fresh legs of Moses and does well. Maratta. Again, Johansson does well. Right, Shea Yoja's off the bench too. We should look to accelerate away with him. He definitely does have some pace in those legs. What is that? Oh, he's got pace in his legs, but he can't, he can't just pass to save his life. Brilliant opportunity to go for a counter-attack and get ourselves an equaliser. And Shea Yoja kicks it straight at the bloody defender. That's why you've not been playing. I thought, I'll give him a go. Aite's played well, but I'll give Shea Yojo a go. Maybe I'll contemplate signing him next year. No, definitely not signing Shea Yojo next year. Good save down low by uh, Rossi. Michi Batshuayi has come on for Alvaro Morata. Batshuayi gone out on loan to Valencia in real life. Obviously, they have a bat on their badge, which might have been part of an appeal. Play! Oh, Norwood had just taken that away from Rudiger. It's going to be a defeat here against Chelsea. It's going to be a frustrating defeat here against Chelsea. Unless Rui Fonte can do something right here, right now. Which he can! That is the goal that will certainly keep us in the Premier League. Thought it was the one to give us the lead against Everton from Rui Fonte. But that one, to earn us a point with his 13th goal of the league season... To earn us a valuable point in stoppage time at home against Chelsea. It had to be the local rivals as well. They're probably already crowned as champions at this stage. And that last minute equaliser should be enough to keep us in the Premier League. We shall find out momentarily. We are on 41 points. We are safe. Ah, uh, we are not safe. Burnley, if Burnley win, they'll go to 35. No, we are safe. Because there are two teams on 34. We are seven points clear of Leicester and Brighton. So they'll drop it. Yeah, we're safe. We're safe! And Liverpool, sorry, Chelsea have won the Premier League. Have they? Yes, Chelsea have won the Premier League. But... Now the question turns, where can we finish? We're on 41 points. Spurs are on 44. Palace 45. There's a big jump in prize money between 13th and 10th. And we could, if results went our way, finish as high as 9th. Although I doubt we will. Goal difference would probably have something to say about that and the fact that Newcastle and Crystal Palace have games in hand. But if we can finish higher than 13th and eke out an extra couple of spots, then that could be worth... 20, 30 million with regards uh, next season's potential transfer window would mean we might not necessarily need to get the financial takeover to bring in all of, or replicate all the transfers that uh, Fulham have done in real life in this save. I am wanting to make a number of those signings though. So they spent 100 million in real life, Fulham. 100 million. 
Remarkable, really. First time a newly promoted side has ever done that. And we've got a number of those signings yet to make, but we will do that next season. But for now, we are 13th and safe. Bournemouth and Cardiff to play. How high can we finish? How much money can we earn? We'll find out tomorrow. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more content. And I'll see you next time.